Hi, Allie here. Uh, we Today we are at Gypsy Snark Bookstore and I'm here with Lara and uh, we're here just to kind of see what you guys are about. So can you describe your your store for us um, and kind of what you guys offer here? We're mainly what we consider a reasonably priced bookstore. Um, mm -hmm. We have a plethora of books that are basically non, non textbooks mm -hmm. uh, and we also cover DVDs, as you can tell, jewelry, little decorative items. Um, but our main thing is books, mm -hmm. and it's mostly used with the exception of a few things we have in the case that we get locally from a publisher. Okay, very cool. Well, everybody loves a good book. It's kind of like being surrounded by old friends. So, <laughs> also, so how long have you guys been in business, and how uh, did you get started? About, about 12 years. Uh, mm -hmm. My mom had always planned on opening up a store for you know retirement purpose after mm -hmm. she retired, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, basically, you know, she had stocked up and hung on to books for <laughs> quite a few years in storage lockers until she was ready, and she just opened up this place. Her mother used to have a bookstore. So. Oh, okay, so it's very much a family business. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, that's neat. The Thomases have been dealing in books in Stillwater since the 70s, and then my oh, grandmother wow. was a librarian at OSU. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's neat. So you inherited that yeah. passion for reading. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So, um, can you tell me how did your business, how has your business like evolved or changed or has it over? Um, years? well, uh, once I, I took on, you know, some of the responsibilities here, I started rearranging everything. Of course, uh -huh. my mom trusts me to the best of her ability to arrange okay. things the way they should be arranged. <laughs> but, uh, we expand and expand and try to fill every nook and cranny we can uh -huh. possibly think of in here. And, right. uh. So how, roughly how many books would you say that you guys have as far as like inventory? Uh, Just, yes. <laughs> You've got yeah. this room and then you have another a whole room other back room, there. And then we have a du uh, two duplicate rooms and then we have two large storage lockers and then we have another back back room that has even more. Okay. Uh, so a little uh, something for everybody. I, I can't give you a number. That's, that, there's <laughs> okay. a lot. There's a lot. If, if I were to count them, that uh -huh. would take me a year. Oh, okay. And what is your favorite book? My favorite book? Uh-huh. You had to pick just one. Oh, honestly, I, I'll just go straight for uh, Harry, Harry Potter. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, Harry Potter's awesome. I mean, it's, he's good for every age. Right. We run out of him on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. uh, and then second is probably the Percy Jacksons. I mean, I hate to pick kids' books here, but they're great right, books. Right, right. Yeah, sure. They're really great books. They're popular for a reason. So what, what are some interesting or odd requests that you've received from customers? Um, well, for a while there, we were getting a lot of inquiries for crystals, which we actually okay. ordered some and oh, got some crystals okay. at the store. Uh, we get a lot of requests for new age because there's just mm -hmm. not a lot of new age around town. So we try to provide as much as we can. We're actually looking into getting another distributor and seeing if we can get some tarot cards and like okay. new agey stuff. A lot of people okay. are into that. Uh, just kind of the outside You're of the norm. Kind of expanding that. Yeah. Uh, I get a lot of requests for philosophy, psychology. Okay. I mean, as for oddball requests, uh -huh. I got two guys that love cufflinks. Oh, interesting. They just, okay. They love cufflinks. <laughs> they come by once every two weeks. Uh -huh. They want cufflinks. Oh, wow. That's uh, neat. I got another guy that collects old watches. Okay. You know, wow. I've so got, just uh, kind of an Yeah, I used group. to have a, a, who we called our Coca-Cola guy uh -huh. who collected Coca-Cola and uh, Ogmandino books, oh, which wow. are a Christian business Hmm. Okay. Business selling books. Interesting. Very cool. <laughs> I mean, I can go on. There's, I've had a lot I'll of bet. strange requests. I'll bet being in business for so long. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, what there's... would your customers say they love most about your business? The organization. Business? Okay. They but... love the organization. Um, even those simple little things like I'll have the husbands and wives uh, coming in mm -hmm. and they'll basically be saying, you know, like, they want to go to the romance section and the wife will go to the romance section and the husband isn't really a big reader, but he still has a lot of stuff to look at. Right. With yeah. the exception of books, you know, mm -hmm. that'll keep him interested, interested and busy while she shops. And nine times out of 10, the husband buys more than a wife <laughs> or vice, you know, vice versa. Yeah, if the husband's yeah. a reader and the wife's not, it's, it's inevitable. So you got a little something on. for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Very cool. So, um, do you think it's important to shop local? And if so, why? Well, I mean, when you live in a big town, it's a lot easier to find the things you want. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot easier to go. And also in this day and age, it's a lot easier to go online and find the things you want. Sure. But the thing that we try to strive to give here at Gypsy Snark is 
most times the majority of the books in here are going to be cheaper than what you find online. Like that's what we try to, that's why we call ourselves right. reasonable because we uh -huh. look up everything online and we always price it for less. And that is also including the shipping. Wow. So you're still getting things here. We don't always have it what people want here. But the thing is, is we might have something else they didn't know they wanted. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, right. Yeah. I try to keep them in the store for as long as I can. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly got a lot to offer here. So yes. <laughs> that is, um, that's cool. Uh, and is there anything exciting coming up that you think? your customers would like to, I know you just had a book sale. We did just have a book sale a, and okay. I normally don't advertise for this, but our Black Friday sales are very nice. Oh, okay. All like right. us on Facebook to keep updated with that. Ah, very <laughs> good. Black Friday is coming up right around the corner. So, yep, yep, all right. Yep. What is the best way for customers to get a hold of you if they have questions about a title um, or? Well, they can just give us a call. Okay. That is the fastest way. I don't get on Facebook as often as I would like, but uh -huh. I also have our phone number on there stated right after. Perfect. When you wrote me, you got our phone number <laughs> just in case you can get in touch with me. So right. okay. just calling us during open hours is the best possible way or come in. Okay. And what is your phone number? Our phone number is 405-377-7754. Uh, okay. Perfect. Well, come visit Gypsy Snark. It's the best used bookstore in town.